guys, Brenda here from the Pop-Up Homestead. I hope my CD friends are doing good. All right, we are here at the Homesteading Life Conference. Super exciting, big crowd, over 2,000 people. You can see behind me all the people coming. They're still filtering in. We are with Zach from An American Homestead and Sean. So let's turn it around so you guys can say hi to him. Hey! How's it going, everybody, on YouTube land? <laughs> Pop-Up Homestead. That's it's right. It's so, so exciting. This has this been a great conference. A lot of great people here. Doug and Stacy, Zach, the man. So, you know, it's been a great time. So, Zach, how long have you been off-grid? Uh, we've been off-grid about 13 years now. 12, 13 years. Yep. And the first year you were off-grid, how did that go? Oh, it's like surviving. It's like it's all you're in survival mode for the first couple of years, just trying yeah. to get all your infrastructure built up. And then after about two or three years, you look back, because you're doing a little bit every day, you look back and you're like... How did I do all that or how did this all happen because it all adds up and so that's why I try to encourage people just do a little bit every day and as you do that you're gonna look back at all of the things you've done and it's just gonna blow you away and then you slowly transition into maintenance mode over the course of years and that that's a lot more fun you know survival mode is not very fun but it's hard work you're, you have a goal in mind and then you get to that goal and then you kind of get into uh, maintenance mode 100 percent because i remember having water and, and i'd go back in the tarp on the back of the cabin with water we went one little cabin uh -huh. like 10 by 12 cabin and what, the water in the tarp and i'm in the rain and getting water it's all about water baby <laughs> and these videos that we've done right and, into big blue and, blue 55 right big gallon blue, blue barrels gallons, and they have to haul that inside uh -huh. dump it in and the whole thing and i mean we still don't have running water we're yeah. three years in and yeah. we're still they have some things it, it took me it took me about eight years before i finally had one running water in the house yeah, it's okay. Yeah, wow, that's a long yeah, time. Well, it's like, well, we had priorities, you know. That's it's right. Like we that's we right. had ways to get our water. We had pumps in the house and things like that. Yeah. But right, like, right. But until, we still do. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, but it's, it just takes time. Yeah. That's right. Well, yeah. we thought it was a big win when we could catch water off the back of the, the cabin into barrels. And at least, at least we didn't have to go to the store and buy water. Mm -hmm. And it was a big win when we got a refrigerator and we had enough solar to run that. So little little victories. I, I think little the, victories think, are the thing. I think one of the biggest things that I feel like for me was pooping in buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that, that to change from the splash, mm -hmm. right, which yeah. I was never a fan of, especially yeah, yeah. in public places. <laughs> I wouldn't go. I would uh, just wait and uh, hold it. Uh, but but now I morning. prefer to poop in a bucket. Yeah, as crazy I'm, as that sounds. I am a big fan of humidor. I'll never go do it, anything else. That's all we I'll do now. Do we, yeah. We're keeping it. We don't yeah. put it in a big hole and bury it. We're actually keeping it for, for yeah. our own compost. I mean, yeah, we use it. We let it sit for a year and then we pull it out and I use it to dress trees and do different things with it. But, you know, for landscaping, it's it's phenomenal. I'll never do anything else. We, we haven't we, started using our, ours we yet. We haven't. We still got one we're still filling. I mean, it's about Three four years. by four. Yeah. And it's still not Well, full we're a bigger so. family out where we are. So yeah, we, that's true. We, yeah, that's true. We fill several per year. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, you, but you <laughs> do sure. have a, a couple families. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Families yeah, yeah, yeah. kids. And you got what, five, six people, us. right? Yeah. 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 So, but that was the big one for me. I, I, I was just wowed yeah. by the whole group and buckets. <laughs> but we did. We followed Doug and Stacy's lead, man, almost to the T. Yeah. The only thing we did different was solar. Yeah. And, and solar was just, I, we had to. We run our business, yep. we had to have access. Oh, six months going to the library, uh -huh. being on the laptop, working on the little mini screen. Uh -huh. I'm used to having two monitors, and and that <laughs> that was that took some time to get that. But now we're we got it all set up. Yep. So it, it definitely took some time. It takes time. It's just it's just that, it's a learning curve, and it's it can be a culture shock for a lot of people. Yeah. But you get through it, and one day after another. That's right. right. Yeah. This year, our big win was we got a chest freezer. So now we can freeze the meat because we oh, raise yeah. meat rabbits and we process them and chickens. And now yeah. we got a place to put them instead of just having to can them, pressure yeah. can them. So that made our life easier. But yeah, every year we found it got a little easier. We're looking forward to the hot running water. Yeah. Hot shower right. would be good. Right. Yeah. Hopefully this summer, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. If we stay and home long enough to do it. Time I take cold showers because it's so hot, you know. Well, no, we do too. That hundred percent. Yeah. I use yeah. the hose. We got a black hose that just lays in the grass, uh -huh. and we'll just pull it wherever and just use it. We live in the middle of nowhere, yeah. so who cares? Well, we also stop taking showers every day. Uh -huh. I mean, it, yeah. you know, it may sound kind of crazy and dirty, but we don't shower once every 
maybe two or three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so that hot water in the hose, there's plenty of water there. You wash your hair, yeah. and, and that's it. I yeah. mean, you know, you wash the, the parts, the yeah, underarm, yeah. the crotch, and all yeah, that. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, I mean, you, you don't yeah. need to shower all yeah. the time. People who, he even talked about it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, we, we, I, I, it helps me to at least rinse off and, and get wet, you know. to uh, Agree. Yep. Have, when the when work is going on in the summer, that's so right. I can get up refreshed the next day and get to work. But that's yeah, right. you know, these long showers that you're used to taking in the city when water doesn't cost anything. It's oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely yeah. Uh, a better appreciation of water. Yeah. I went and stayed with my mom the first year that we were here in Buffalo, and I was washing dishes at her house, and I kept opening the cabinet underneath to see if our bucket was full. It had to be empty, and I'm like, God, I conditioned myself uh -huh. to look and make sure I didn't overfill the bucket under the sink. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, hers just goes out like yeah. a normal person. Yeah, like a normal person. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, but we're having a good time out here. It's it's a lot of learning and, and it's good it's a good experience to see a lot of people who are in kind of in this different stages that I have already been in. That's know. right. Now now you're doing a class today, correct? Yeah, I'll be doing a uh, talk today on um, gardening and defending your garden, doing battle in your garden, garden pests, garden pressures, things like that. Okay, and then that's you also awesome. Do a powwow with Doug and Stacy and, yep. and 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 um, uh, the other, Curtis the, Stone. Curtis Stone. Yeah, that'll yeah. be later. Mm -hmm. We met Curtis Stone yesterday too. Yeah. Very cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Good guy. All right, well, cool. say bye, guys. Bye, guys. See ya. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me get my hand out of the way. All right, you guys. We're going to go check out this conference, buy some more stuff that we can't live without. There's the outhouses in case you wanted to see them. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you an update when we get home. That'll be part of the garden or the greenhouse chat. Bye, my CD friends.